Hey, it's Joseph here. Today the setup is slightly different. I have a little bit of background glow here. It is because I want to kind of do something about that. So first of all, let me get you off from my mount there. Okay, so hopefully you guys could kind of see me well. First, I have the main setup where I do most of my shooting, but sometimes I do secondary shooting if it's a top-down view or if I need to do something else that is sort of more unboxing related. I tend to do shooting back there in the second desk and I'm trying to revise the setup. And I have a new kit that just arrived which I would like to get it installed today and showcase to you. So let me explain what is going on here. So first I've got the main light on a tripod and then I got the box which is a new kit and I got this arm here which is going to kind of stretch over so that I get secondary light with a secondary camera. And the secondary camera that I typically use is this Insta360 ONE R. And another thing I want to mention is the fact that I have a hole cut out on my desk so I can actually put this same sort of stretchy arm here and then extend this further and this is just a little smartphone clamp if my camera would focus and then I can just kind of stretch to mount my overhead camera which is Insta360 here and then that goes in there like that which I need both of the hands so give me a second okay so that's how I usually mount this thing and I can just kind of stretch it over so I can film what is going on and it is able to capture if I want I can add a ball head to just kind of rotate it so that it is shooting straight down I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that let me have that set up and then I'm gonna get unboxing done for this box Okay, can you see that? So that's how I would go about getting sort of the overhead shot of my unboxing. It is a lot of setup and hopefully that is the right answer for just getting all of this setup more streamlined. So I think I've been holding back what's inside of this box and let me go ahead and open it. So this is what inside of the box looks like and it is supposed to look something like this. So this is what the assembly looks like. UU Rig Universal Desktop Livestream Stand and this is what they were able to send me a product sample for me to showcase to you guys. Although it says UU Rig, the original company's name is Ulanzi or Ulanzi. So I just wanted to mention that to you. And in order for me to do unboxing here, I had to kind of raise the desk in which this is a standing desk. So if I just press the button, the desk raises. However, the problem is it now collapses as this one is sitting on a tripod. So I need to raise this one further up as I want to do unboxing. But that's a hassle that we want to get rid of today. Some of the items were quite hidden so I had to just kind of pry it out. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble this on the desk. There wasn't any instructions or manual, not that I'm gonna ever look at it, but I just wanted to disclose that information. And I think I'm gonna turn off the light as they are just sort of in my way. Okay, so time to assemble these things. I think that is it. Time to get rid of that one and then that one. Okay, so this is what I've got in terms of the setup. I still got the same light here, which is gonna work as sort of the 
secondary light and then now my camera my main camera could mount onto this point and following the main spine there goes my overhead camera and I kept the ball head so I can just kind of adjust it as I need to and then following that is the light I could expand that really far out and aim towards the center of the desk but I've noticed as I stretch further there's gonna be more wobble on the stand itself I think in terms of height I'm gonna have to adjust and see what is the most optimal angle but overall I've got so much adjustability in terms of how much of arm I can extend and how much of a coverage I can have and maybe for you instead of having this overhead camera maybe you can do a microphone as they originally intended for you to do you can have a microphone attached here so that it is really close to your mouth and then instead of this weird angled light you can have more circular light attached to the mount point here so that it just stretches over your head but as far as my setup goes this is what I have and I think it works let's go ahead and mount this camera on that point there to just kind of show you what I'm talking about Okay, so what do you think? This is how it would look like if it was to be mounted on the head. And I've got this overhead camera, which I can adjust to move it up and down. And then I've got a light on top that kind of sheds light too. So this is the overall setup that I was able to put together with this new kit. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video as much as I had fun doing this sort of overall setup. I love just changing stuff up and then setting out new things so anyways please subscribe to my channel if you want to continue watching these type of videos thank you so much for watching as always i'll see you next time bye